Snowball, they sure were glad to have him back. And he just gets a piece of that one, two. Lighter on to first for Keegan. He's got a full house behind him early, and in eight pitches has two outs. A lot of explosion. Comes back to the fastball on 3-2. Gonzalez waits back on it. Across the diamond, the one 2 three first inning is complete for Jack Leiter. It hasn't really found that breaking ball release point, but he's found that one. 99 on the black. You see in college baseball. His 2-2 leaves Jenkins looking. Back-to-back -back strikeouts and three out of the first five. Freshman DH, Drew Compton. Nolan gets the grounder. And Leiter is through the second. Another 2-2. Got him at the knees. Fourth strikeout and eight batters. Will Height has been waiting at second. The 0-2. Knocks Leiter's glove off, a bare hand collection and delivery to first base. The recovery from Leiter after a long at bat, that one zipping back to him. He looks good, so does the defense. Trying to put away Gonzalez, and he does with the first whiff of the third. Second strike out of the inning, Jack Leiter, laborious. And a 2-2, blows it by him at 96. Six strikeout for Light. And he makes very quick work of Drew Compton for his seventh strikeout. Tapped it. <laughs> well, Lighter with another breaking ball. Three straight strikeouts for Jack Lighter. See what he goes with, 3-2. Payoff pitch. And Jack Leiter makes it look easy at Hawkins Field. It isn't, but that's just how good he is. Out the side here in the fifth, first Compton with a breaking ball, DeLeo with a breaking ball, and Will Height. Leiter's 1-2, nets him his 10th strikeout. One more try on the 2-2, that's a gem. If that's the end of the night, standing ovation from mom, dad, and everybody else at Hawkins Field. The Pirates will have to deal with Jack Leiter, the draft-eligible sophomore, and what an amazing year for him. Breaking ball. Called strike three. Behind in the count, 0-2. The pitch. Got him with the breaking ball. And sets. Off the outside corner. No, he got it. Strike three. The 0-2. Another great breaking ball. 3-2 pitch. Strike three called. Of the six teams from the SEC still alive. Look out. This one is hit high and fairly deep by Norby. But there's Baz to make the catch for the second out. Man, he makes it look easy. Another strikeout. Two down to be a pitcher. Yeah, I mean, he played a lot of... Agnos popped out his first time up. Been a breaking ball, and boy, he has a good one. Jack Leiter just gets it. Every inning, he has struck out the last two outs. Nolan, of course, Rodriguez behind home plate. That one's hit hard. Gonzalez gathers it up. Strong throw for the second out. World, the center fielder. Got him on the breaking ball. Nasty. Nine Ks for Jack Leiter. Was talking much about Jack, but they certainly are now. That's back up the middle, cut off by Young. And Starling is out here in the sixth. Yeah. They asked Corbs, do you think my boy's got a shot? Does he have a shot to play for you guys? There was some question there. Where that ump cam was a great visual there on that strike out of Norby, one of the best hitters in the American. Francisco is out quickly as Leiter breezes through the sixth in a 2 0 game. The next great one here is Jack Leiter. An incredible season, 10 and 3, and he, he throws more than just two pitches or three pitches. 3 2, and he got him. Strikeout number one for Jack Leiter.
walked and he has been lights out since then. This one to first. And that time Dominic Keegan did what he didn't do in the first game. He backed up on a 3-2. Got him swinging. Lighter picks up strikeout number two and a good start. Last curveball was up a little bit, and that is strike three. So Leiter seemed to find that curveball, and then he goes fastball paint inside, strikeout number three. That's uncomfortable right there. When you get a fastball in like that, and he's able to execute glove side, four. And the one, two. That's another one. Jose Torres looking. Leiter, four strikeouts. The slider right here. So we see more curveballs, and I'll show you both. That was the fastball elevator. Mm, he strikes out the side and he has struck out five of the first six that he has seen. Velasti wasn't there yet. This Velasti came a little bit later. Pitch with me, kind of understanding my mindset. Well, this is a hamburger helper inning for a lighter. More of them than, than that pitch right there is for strikeout seven. What does that mean when he says that? Well, I mean, it's just a scouting report coming in. You look at tendencies over the course of the season and what Jack Leiter has thrown, and nine out of ten, and Eddie, you were talking about it. Strikeout number eight for Jack Leiter. It's elite stuff. Again, going with the heater. He can beat you late in count. Message is consistent. We're in great shape, and right now he's in great shape. This year. But now 13 home runs. Comes back and gets another punch out. That's hit hard, but on a line that's caught by Young, it's short for the second out. You know, a bunch of wholesale changes. Kind of the team is the team, and they thought the team would get hot. Eddie. Into the mitt. Nice play by Rodriguez, and strikeout 12 for Leiter. I mean, we've talked about it plenty today. It's just the approach is elevated fastball. 2-2, Two -two, elevated left field. Vaz now sees it and it goes into his glove and he knows it two and two that's strike three at 96 and it's strikeout 13 two down still got plenty in the tank right here best fastballs of the game of and with the bases full 0 for 9 eight strikeouts and two big grand slams this season got him swinging 96 Strikeout number 15 for Leiter. Murr with the bat on his shoulder goes back to the bench. And this ball is hit to straightaway center field. Bradfield calls off Thomas and he's there to make the play. 10 4 with a 2 0 weight, 171 punch outs in 104 innings. On the inside corner, Jordan caught looking strikeout number one for Jack Leiter. 254 at bats. For Rowdy Jordan right there. That's the 40th strikeout. Leiter will take it. His first baseman has slipped, and Leiter will race to the bag to beat Allen. Dominic Keegan went over to his right, and he fell down. How about the athleticism of Jack Leiter? Leiter, oh, he makes the play. Great play by Leiter. That ball had very little pace on it. That's a start. That's strikeout number two. Logan Tanner, the victim on a high fastball. It's exactly where C.J. Rodriguez wanted. There's no watch party in Starkville because, for the most part, everybody's here. But there is one at the Hawk there. I think it's a strike, but Steve Manley had it right. And he comes back with a 3-2 breaking ball and gets the outcome. He would have with the pitch before. Two strikeouts in a row. Let's see. Cumbus and an easy play over there at first. And of course, it has to do with the team draft. And not his, his dad's overexcitement. Because his dad used to drive me nuts for years, 19 years total. And this is a breaking pitch. Look what CJ Rodriguez does moves his body around. Watch and appreciate Rodriguez here. This ball's outside. That's on a corner and Leiter punches out Forsyth. He has struck out four of the last five he has faced. He's got five strikeouts. You see this a lot when, when Jack Leiter has his good stuff. That fastball will start to tick up as the game went off. Leiter picks up strikeout number six. He gets three in the inning. There you go. Lead on that one and a strikeout number seven for Leiter.
Well, you're wondering if he's going to come back with a fastball after what he had done on that 3-1 pitch in his first at bat. For Cumbus. And this one is going to be playable. Shallow center field. Look who's going out there. It's Young. Tough play. On the ground to third. Gonzalez. It's trouble getting it out of his glove. He may have intentionally bounced that over there. Noland. And it came up perfectly for Keegan as they turn a difficult 5-4-3. Rip right at the first baseman in Keegan position beautifully. That's good, right at the knees, and it was over the plate. Strike three, Hancock done. Lighter strikeout number eight. If he can execute that one, that one they're not going to get. I mean, that's glove side fastball on the knees on the inside corner of the plate. On the ground to short to second. They get the force right there. He's out. As Tanner slides into Nolan, but he's okay. Will walk off with Jack Leiter, what may be his final walk off of College Mound. I mean, I would say I would say it means a lot to pitch in a Vanderbilt uniform.